Welcome to Michael Potts F1, everything Formula One, but from a photographer's point of view. Alfa Romeo are the first team to show us something that resembles a 2023 car. It's taken until the fourth car launch to actually see something that's going to be similar to what we'll see on track this year. There's a lot to look at at this first proper car launch of the year. I'm quite surprised about how much the livery has changed from last year to this year. It is actually pretty cool. There's a lot of black replacing what was white in last year's edition. But if you look closely, you'll see that this is not just black paint. This is actually raw carbon fiber. This is a way that teams can reduce the weight of the car by having less paint. And looking at the four cars that we've seen so far, a lot of them have gone very dark. They currently all have large dark sections currently represented by paint. But you can imagine that if the team needs to chase a few extra kilograms, that that paint will be stripped off and will go straight back to the bare carbon fiber. One of the rule changes for 2023 has meant a reduction in the minimum car weight. So that's the weight of the car without petrol inside. It's gone down by two kilograms, which, which doesn't sound very much, but the teams were already struggling to meet the requirement. If there's an opportunity to save a few grams on paint, I'm, I'm sure the teams will take that. The car appears to be similar to the Red Bull in terms of aerodynamic philosophy. That is, with, with quite a big cutaway underneath the side pods, the team has said that they concentrated most of their development effort around the rear of the car, because that's the part of the car that they feel they can get most development return from. The rear view of the car with the Italian flag looks absolutely amazing. From the top, you can see how the team is trying to direct the air around the car. You can also see the detailing in the floor. That, that's quite cool. This is something that, that teams evolve over the course of the year. So you'll probably see this change from track to track. This is the view that the drivers are going to have from the cockpit. And apart from the ultra high tech steering wheel, the cockpit is actually remarkably basic. When you look at the detail of the steering wheel, you can see how complex they are and how much the driver can control things during the course of the race. These can be customized to suit a particular driver's style and they're labeled in such a way that the average person will have absolutely no idea what half those knobs and, and buttons do. This is the final year of Alfa Romeo's sponsorship of the Sauber team. The predominant color is still the Alfa Romeo red. On one side of the engine, you see the, the heraldic logo, that's the, the cross of Milan with Visconti's emblem of a giant grass snake swallowing a child. It's quite macabre iconography to have as your logo. On the other side is the quadrifogli, the four-leaf clover. The four-leaf clover has been a part of Alfa Romeo symbolism since its early days of racing, but I'll go more into that in a future vlog. I think the car is absolutely gorgeous, and this color red is, is beautiful. With the black, it makes the car look, look really brilliant, really edgy, quite, quite aggressive. I love the treatment of the wheel cover. These are going to look amazing when the car is traveling at speed. There's so much detailing in the livery that it, it's fantastic to look at. The team have a new major sponsor called Stake, who appear to be an online gambling company. Their website is blocked in the Netherlands, so if you can access it, I'd love to know what they do. They did a concept car, but sadly we won't see that on the track. It's always a bit frustrating when teams do this. They go to a lot of effort designing something quite lovely, only for a press event, which doesn't really get the coverage it deserves. The driver lineup is remaining the same. We're going to have Valtteri Bottas and Zhou Guan Yu. There has been a lot of change on the management side. Fred Vasseur, the former team principal, has left for Ferrari, and Andreas Seidel has come over from McLaren as team CEO. Alessandro Aluni Bravi becomes the team representative. The team will turn into Audi in 2026, so these structural changes are in anticipation of that happening. What the team will look like in the next two years is anyone's guess, but there's a lot of work that they need to do to, to become a full works team. It's going to be terribly sad to see Alfa Romeo leave the grid, and I'm not too sure when we'll ever see them back again. They have a rich history in the sport. They were winners of the first two Formula One championships in 1950 and 1951. But they had to leave the sport, partly because they were getting such stiff competition by a former Alfa Romeo driver, a guy called Enzo Ferrari, who had started up his own team. They did supply engines to a lot of smaller privateers through the years, but they came back as a works team in the, the late 70s, early 80s. That venture wasn't that successful. And this, their latest foray, really has just been a badging exercise, a, a marketing campaign. 
there hasn't really been a technical partnership. The cars are running Ferrari engines and they're completely managed by the Sauber team. It's just lovely that we've been able to have Alfa Romeo stickers on them for the past few years. This could be a bit of a challenging year for the team. They do have the benefit of having two settled drivers in, in Valtteri Bottas and Zhou Guan Yu, but the restructuring in the background is going to create a lot of noise, and hopefully this won't have a negative impact on the race team. Last year they started incredibly well, but they fell back during the season, as other teams brought more efficient upgrades. This year, one of their main goals must be to get both cars to score points more frequently. They have a pack of very, very hungry competitors snapping at their heels, and it's going to be a real challenge for them to maintain sixth place or, or even improve on, on last year's results. Thank you for watching my review of the Alfa Romeo car launch, our first real car launch of the season. I really hope you've enjoyed it. What do you think of this car? And what do you think their prospects will be for the season? If you'd like to purchase any photographs of the Alfa Romeo team, there's a link in the description below, and there's a 10% discount code so you can save money on all purchases. The next one is a livery launch by Alfa Tauri on the 11th of February. So until then, goodbye.